Hello, I am Dr. Rebecca Hardcastle Wright, and I come from Phoenix, Arizona to Brazil. And I would like to speak with you today about exoconsciousness, which I will be sharing in the Mankind's Guardians Conference in April of 2019. And I look forward to meeting all of you and hearing from you, getting to know you, and sharing exoconsciousness at the conference. I developed the word exoconsciousness in around 2005. I had been an early, early childhood experiencer of extraterrestrials since the age of three. And I had moved in the early 90s to Phoenix, Arizona, where for the first time I met with other experiencers where I was able to share my uh, life with ETs <laughs> in, in friendship with other experiencers. And I began to be very interested in, in consciousness. I was led into consciousness studies very, very deeply and I became a healer and I also grew very interested in ufology and I taught uh, one of the first ufology courses in the nation at Scottsdale College in Scottsdale, Arizona called um, Extraterrestrial Reality and to teach that course I immersed myself in sort of the nuts and bolts of UFO craft research beginning with the Aztec crash in the late 40s and and of course Roswell on up through all of the different UFO investigations but even during that time I, I was very tied to um, consciousness that what is the meaning of consciousness in all of this extraterrestrial multidimensional phenomenon and so I also at the same time began to be very in, involved professionally as a as, as a as a researcher in in, in exopolitics and began to work um, to learn about how different governments and and different types of extraterrestrial diplomacy might work, how the space programs worked, and and how these government structures were actually um, handling the extraterrestrial presence. And then uh, in 1997, the Phoenix Lights. Um, mass flyover of a mile wide ET craft happened in Phoenix and I didn't get to see the craft. I didn't see the craft. <laughs> I got left out of the Phoenix lights and many of my friends at that time started to go like a funnel into UFO craft research deeper and deeper and I I was not there. I, I was at a different place and I knew then that my work was to be about consciousness, not, not the nuts and bolts, Newtonian science, engineering of a craft. I, I was to learn about consciousness and how I was relating to extraterrestrials and multidimensional beings as a consciousness. And so one morning I was getting ready to go to work and I was working and had uh, three children at home, three of my children at home at the time and my uh, radio alarm went off and I hit the snooze button and I thought, oh, just five more minutes of sleep until I have to pack lunches, get everybody to school, get on my way to work. I need, I, I need to just sleep for a few minutes. And I, my head fell back against the pillow and the word exoconsciousness uh, literally flowed into my, my body, mind, spirit and literally sh saturated every cell in, in my body. That, that word exoconsciousness 
came into my uh, entire being on a cellular level, and I knew at that point that I, I, that would be my life's work from that point. And so the first definition of exoconsciousness was more of an academic definition. So I def- t- defined exoconsciousness as a study, a study, an academic study of the extraterrestrial origins, meaning that humans have extraterrestrial origins within them, that we have origins from different cosmic uh, matter that comes to the earth. We have origins from different races that have um, participated in our evolvement and genetics. So it was the exoconsciousness is the extraterrestrial origins and dimensions. What is it about human consciousness that can connect with ETs? What is it about human consciousness that can go out into the cosmos or under the ground in the planet or develop a relationship with an extraterrestrial intelligence? What are the different dimensions of our consciousness? So exoconsciousness is the extraterrestrial origins, dimensions, and abilities. What amazing abilities are we able to find within ourselves as humans as we are extraterrestrial? Can we become more telepathic as we relate to extraterrestrials? Can we become to the point where we can manifest a symbol or a writing into material matter? Are we, are we able to, to experience time differently as a psychic ability because of our extraterrestrial nature? So the first definition was exoconsciousness is the extraterrestrial origins, dimensions, and abilities of human consciousness because for exoconsciousness it always comes back to the human we're not concerned about sitting in the backyard or out on a campsite and looking for ET to appear in the sky that's all very important that's not our emphasis our emphasis is what are the human transformations that happen to us as humans that that creates us as exoconscious humans and then several years ago i founded the institute for exoconsciousness which is a 501 c3 organization nonprofit that is becoming a platform of many many platforms that are accessible to ET experiencers, where as ET experiencers, they can bring their goods and services and work into the platform. Or if there are existing platforms of extraterrestrial experiencer and multidimensional experiencer groups, they can come into the platform. And I knew then that I needed to expand the definition of exoconsciousness to describe it as an innate ability so every human has the innate ability the inborn we are born with this exoconscious ability we have an innate ability to do what I would characterize as three things we have the innate ability to connect so my consciousness has the ability, all conscious, all human consciousness has the ability to connect with an extraterrestrial presence, a multidimensional presence. Every human has the innate ability to connect and to communicate, to not only connect, but to form a relationship and talk to one another and share information and form an, an emotional attachment to each other so the innate of exoconsciousness is in the innate ability to connect communicate 
and finally to co-create with extraterrestrials and multidimensionals. And by co-creation, I mean that we are moving to a new era, of an exciting new era, where we as humans, I think for the first time in human history, are seeing ourselves as co-equals, peer-to-peer relationships with extraterrestrials where we're no longer seeing extraterrestrials and multidimensionals as our savior or our gods or uh, the superior beings that we can never be like. But in fact, we are developing an equal, co-equal relationship with extraterrestrials and multidimensionals such that this new peer-to-peer respectful, co-equal relationship, even though we're different, even though we humans are different from one another, even though the different races are different from one another, that we can somehow come together and lay a new foundation for a new way of being, literally being with each other as co-creators to bring the tools and the knowledge and the experience to planet Earth such that the ET presence will be lived in a new way. The exoconscious human presence will be lived in a new way with the extraterrestrial multidimensional presence.